So, time to say goodbye to Bangkok. Let's go. Everything is packed already. Now I just have to have strong shoulders to carry all my stuff. So I was waiting in the line, but then I just discovered it was the wrong terminal because that one was for international flights. <laughs> so now I did it right. I went to the terminal two for domestic flights. Let's go to Crab Beating Squad. Didn't have people there, so I just dropped my bag really quick. Now let's go to Krabi. I'm really, I'm really tired. <laughs> I had to wake up five in the morning. But yeah, let's go to the islands. And even at the airport, there's 7-Eleven. So definitely the prices in 7-Eleven is better than the other places at the airport. So I highly recommend for you. Time for breakfast, guys. And here the prices are really good. Now there's someone that is happy because just bought water and sandwich from 7-Eleven and just paid 50 baht in the airport. Really good price. Oh, we can pay by cash and also by card. Now it's time for some relaxation and just cost me 20 bucks. So, so cheap. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit painful, but at least I'm doing a massage because I didn't do that when I was here in Bangkok. Didn't have time for that. This time I was lucky to have Zone 1. So I'll be the first, the first to relax, the first to sleep, the first to put the bag. I'm really happy about that. No one here. And welcome to Krabi, everyone. Now I'm going to take my Uber. Actually, it's, a, it's called Crab here. But I have to cross and go to the parking lot. It's the only way that they can get us. Here, boat doesn't work. So it's just the app Grab that you can use. Good tip for you if you're coming.
guys so i was planning i'm going tomorrow to the island already bought my ticket the ferry to go there and i talked with a friend that is staying there she lived there for a while so i just discovered that there when we rent a room we don't have a kitchen and it's something that is really important when i'm traveling i can handle to stay with with our homemade food from for a while like a week two is okay or even if i don't i definitely don't have any way possible to prepare my own food is okay for me i can handle that but i have an option that is the great part i have an option so the option is have to buy an electric pen so i went to the market last time and i just saw that they have they sell here and it's really really cheap the price is 300 baht uh, really cheap converting to brazil money so i decided to buy it going now my hotel is just nearby so i'm going walking and the point is i already have a lot of stuff i'm carrying a lot of stuff already so i don't have much space how i will do that still a mystery still we're going to figure out but we have a saying in brazil that is um some places or some people are like the heart of a mom they always have space for one more thing so i'm um, keep that i kept that in mind and i'm going to use that now so i don't know how i'm going to carry that but i will i just decided if i don't use that one i can give it to someone if I use and after here, uh, my plan is to go to another country because I just can't stay for three months. So I can give to someone, so backpacker that is going to the island. And also I can use it for a while if I can still carry that those things. So seems a great deal, at least in my mind. I hope that you think the same. So now I'm in front of the market. Let's buy that one. Now we arrived in the market. It's called Lotus. And the day is so beautiful today. I wish I had time to go to the beach. I wanted to have a last swim in Krabi before I go because I'm going early in the morning. But uh, I was editing and working so I didn't have time. But it's okay because tomorrow I still have a beach. I can enjoy the water. So, yeah. Making the decision of taking things slowly, it's also to enjoy the moment. And this is, have been really important for me because since the beginning, I'm taking everything in a rush. So this is not good for a long life, for a long-term life, let's say. So yeah, just a thought that I had. This is the pen that I'm planning to buy. It's this one. I think it's a better option than just buy this one because otherwise I have to buy this and the pen. So the price is definitely really affordable. And this one I can cook. See, it's electric so I can have rice and other things inside. They also have other options like these, which is really cute. This other, I think this is my favorite, but it's too big. And they have this one, but too small, so, and the same price. I think this is the medium size and I can do a rice and so I think this one is a great option. New Year's Eve tie, it's almost closed, so just looking for some water gun, but I'll talk about later. For those who wonder which card I use when I'm traveling, is this one. And I just bought my pen, electric pen. I'm going back to my hostel. This is the time when you realize that you are an adventurer, but also an old woman that it's happy because it bought a pen. Where is my youth? I'm not young anymore, unfortunately, but okay. It cost me 200, 300 baht. When I arrived in my hostel, I just met a guy and he convinced me that in the last day, I should enjoy the island. So he grabbed his bike and we went to the beach and definitely was the best choice because it was my last day in Krabi. And I have to say, I definitely love this place. It's surrounded by mountains and the beach is really stunning, so it's definitely worth it.
to the islands, my bags over there. Oh, I'm tired and the bags are really, really heavy. Look how many bags. So she gave me this sticker and this boarding pass. Because Krabi is still a small place, you know, 